So, this coworker came up to me today and bitched about the machines. Of course, he would choose me because he knows that I'm the only one that'll really, really listen to that. Because a lot of people, they can complain about certain things, but they don't really see the bigger picture. Because if they saw the bigger picture, they would have been opposed to this shit from the get-go. Our lives would be so much easier without machines. Our lives would be so much better without industries. But because of our natural born laziness, and I don't think that laziness is a quality that human beings are supposed to exhibit, but because we live in this world, which has been polluted by sin, we can't help but mirror the world. And it's easier for us to do what we see everybody else doing than strive to be the exception to the rule. Now yours truly is a very hard worker. I don't say this to boast, I say this because it's a good thing to work. It's a very good thing to work. You're a better person if you work. You want proof of that? Just look at all the socialists. I do not know one person that refuses to work that is better off because of that. Whether they refuse to work an actual job or they refuse to work on themselves, they refuse to work on their relationships with their family, People that insist that it's everybody else's responsibility are the most sorry, miserable sacks of shit. And I don't mean they're sorry because, you know, they're the slightest bit apologetic about that. They're sorry like, I'm sorry that I have to interact with your stupid ass. I'm sorry that we have to intermingle in any kind of way because I really don't want to be seen with the likes of you. The struggle with working in the restaurant industry is that there are a lot of people that work in restaurants that don't give a fuck about their jobs. And so if they fuck up an order, they don't care. I don't like that because that makes me look bad, you know? And sadly, you don't have enough people to think like me that are like, that's, that's a poor reflection on everybody else. So now, people that come through the drive-thru are people that order food. They're going to think that, that everybody that works there behaves that way. Everybody that works there doesn't care about their job, you know? So... That, that's why, like, I talk about the things that I talk about, because I am trying to break the stereotypes, not just enable them to keep existing. And you don't have enough people that are willing to prove points through their actions, you know? Like, you can spout off on Twitter all day, but if you're not living up to the things that you're saying, it really doesn't matter. But... You know, I don't agree with machines replacing us. I don't agree with, with people just slacking off or resting on their laurels. That's why I refuse to get a smartphone because I don't want to like train myself to rely on it for anything. And people make fun of me all the time because I get lost a lot. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I would rather get lost than get tracked by the government. And it's not like, oh, I think that I'm avoiding it completely. I'm just not gonna make it easier for them. Y'all motherfuckers have some nerve to act like you care about the government clamping down on us. 
you let that shit happen because the industries are in bed with the government. They get government subsidies. It's just lazy, man. It's fucking lazy. Everybody's such a lazy sack of shit. And I'm not saying I can't be lazy sometimes. I'm not saying that I'm not hypocritical sometimes, but I bend over backwards to avoid hypocrisy because that's how much I hate hypocrites, okay? I can't stand that shit. But if I sound like I'm being harsh, Because everybody's a fucking dope fiend, man. Everybody's dope fiend. I just passed a motherfucker walking. And he's just looking down. He's looking down the whole time. Like, who cares if that motherfucker gets run over by a truck? I don't. I mean, you can say I don't value human life. That motherfucker doesn't value his own life. You see, I'm against abortion all the way. I'm not just against abortion when it comes to a fetus in the womb. I'm against abortion when it comes to a human being that doesn't act much like a human being. An adult that still behaves like, I mean, I really don't know like what, what level of infantilization this is at this point. I compare these people to zygotes, but I feel like it's it's worse than that, you know? I mean, they really are like cyborgs. Because they're not... They're not embracing any part of them as human. So, it's super easy for the machines to take over because of all these humans that are part machine themselves since they rely on machines for everything, okay? It's so easy to understand if you're a think outside the warehouse kind of person, like John Hickok refers to me. Um, appreciate that, John. Appreciate it. You know, sometimes even he doesn't understand my line of thinking, but that's okay, you know? I don't think he's of the spirit. Just because you're not of the spirit, though, that doesn't mean that you can't understand how much the government's fucking us. He loves the hell out of guns, so he definitely gets that side of it. But I think that everybody's on a spectrum, you know? They're on a spectrum of awareness. Sadly, most people choose to be unaware of so many things because it's easier for them to just slack off and do what everybody else is doing and stare at their phone and watch television and eat shit food. <sighs> anyway, I do not belong to this world. I belong to God. And as painful as that is, I mean, I feel like there's that separation anxiety. Like we want to be with the Father all the time. But the Father's in us. So, if we read his word, and we pray, we meditate, and we stay humble, no matter how arrogant we like to be because of our counterculture viewpoints, it's like we can still be with him. This world still sucks, though.